What's Dean P's meant to this defense? Man, he meant a lot, man. He expect a lot of us, expect a lot out of us. And um, he, he's unwavering, you know, he's unwavering. And, and it's the commitment that he puts on a daily basis, day in and day out. And uh, just what it mean to him, man, and it make us want to go to, that much harder for for him, you know. And um, it's just fun playing for him. I could definitely say that. The last two years, what's how, how have you seen the evolution of what he's done, and, and maybe some of that that he's done in other places kind of filter into this? Um, I think just trusting us more, you know, and being a little more exotic with some blisses and stuff like that. I can't speak to certain coverage combinations that they play in the back end, but up front, I mean, we. We play everybody up front. Play multiple positions. Um, Got to do a lot of different things, and I think it helps the whole defense as a whole. And um, so I'm, I'm really, really grateful to be able to learn under uh, his leadership and just um, grow as a player, you know, and uh, just not always being pegged at this one point, at this one point, at the one point here, one point there, and uh, just being used in different multiple ways, and um, just really challenge myself to be a better player, you know, um, week in and week out, day in and day out, and continue to always learn the game of football in different ways it could be ran. Do you feel like the, the defensive culture is getting better? He said that it was trending in the right direction. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, and that's something, a standard that he set early in the offseason. And um, he said, you know, he talked about how, um, you know, Atlanta, as we all know, has been known for being an offensive team, you know, for a long time. and. We, we, he has um, a passion towards changing that to where when people think about Atlanta Falcons, they think about strong physical defense being played, and uh, that's what we're trending towards. We're definitely trending towards that, and that's not saying anything bad about the offense. That's just us trying to improve on defense, focus on the things that we can, we can control as a defense, getting better week in and week out, and um, I think that's what we had definitely have done, especially on this latter part of the season. Um, no matter who the opponent was, we always showed up and just put our best foot forward. And of course, the things we can be better at, but um, you'll be blind to say that you don't see the improvements. You know, you don't see the way we plan. You know, more than just the play calls or just the um, execution, search, the style. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if we don't get the job done, you know, you know somebody tried their best. You know, and that's the encouraging, encouraging part in the standard that they have set as a um, coaching staff and a leadership group. When you, I'm sorry. when you look at, I mean, like, you want wins over losses. Without a doubt. Over the last five, you've allowed 21 or less in five consecutive games, mm -hmm. uh, kind of what's been the like cause of that? And is that a sign that maybe you guys are getting better throughout the course of the year? Points are really all in that. Yeah, absolutely. Without that, definitely a sign of us trending in the right direction, you know? Um, like you say, in this game, you can always get better. You know, there's always room for improvement. I always think we could do better. But to be able to um, totally ignore the improvements that you are making, that just won't be right, you know? So you have to take, take note of where we are getting better. And um, and that's definitely a part of it, not giving up points. Of course, you don't want nobody to get all these yards on. You don't want nobody to get in the red zone. But you know what? It's the NFL. At the end of the day, if you're holding down points, points win games, right? So if you're holding points down, you're giving the offense the best chance we can to go match and get more points, you know? So that's our challenge. No matter um, how much the offense score, we need to keep the opponent under that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so, so. And that don't mean if we score 50 now, we let them go get 40. <laughs> but y'all you, dig, <laughs> dig what I'm saying. So um, we just challenged ourselves, man, week in and week out. And I love the way the defense is trending and uh, loving the way coaches trusting us with opening up the playbook and, you know, just letting us um, just go hunt. How did you process what happened with Demar Hamlin? Or, and are still processing it, I imagine. Yeah, man, it's definitely, definitely a. Um, a tough, tough situation, man. Uh, had the pleasure, you know, knowing 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 Demar for a couple of years now, and uh, traded traded jerseys with him last year. When we went up there to Buffalo, and uh, but to see that happen to him, it was just a, uh, you know, that's some tragic. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, can't do nothing but send send you know support and prayers and stuff like that. But I mean, um, you know, it's even hard to speak on. You know, it's one of the yeah, things where you sure. know. So playing this game, you you we all know it's risky. You know we all know um, the risk you take going out there. We say that until you right. see it. You right. know yeah. you say that until you see it. And mm -hmm. for somebody to have to go through that and live through that as well, as, I, as I speak on it right now, it's um it's definitely eye opening. But um, at the same time, you know I'm hearing nothing but great news. You know so sending sending out some well wishes to him, some love, and to him and his family, and um, just really really. And his teammates, you know, as well, that's had to be a traumatic event, you know, experiencing something like that for somebody you go to work with day in and day out. I couldn't imagine, you know, seeing seeing one of my teammates go through that or, um, you know, a uh, player from a coach, you know what I'm saying, or um, especially for his 
family that was there in the stands, you know, had to see him and which and I'm glad I was able to be with him and uh, but you know, man, tough, tough situation. And uh, we all just gonna keep prayers up for him and in and, and, um, and hopes that he pulled through and make a hundred percent full recovery. How'd you get to know him? Um, it's kind of personal, but he we 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 got close 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 family um, family ties, extended family ties, yeah. through relationships and stuff like that. How do y'all um, you know uh, uh, get prepared for Sunday? Uh, you know, and that you know y'all gonna play Tampa. I mean, it's been games where y'all going to playoffs and and they're out, and it's a big rumble and it's a little flip this time. But I know it's gonna you know y'all still take this game serious. Oh no, without a doubt, man. Without a doubt, like I like I've been saying. Um, you know, since unfortunately we was knocked out the playoffs. I mean, every time you get a chance to play play football in the NFL, it's a it's a privilege. You know, you got to treat it as such. So I mean, the guys, we go, we we had a great week of practice. We didn't have fun. Um, we are where we are, and our opportunity is to go out there and play on Sunday. So we're ready to go out there and put our best foot forward. You can't really worry about too much how they're gonna play it, how, what they're gonna do. So whatever, whatever way they wanna go, whatever the game gotta be played, and we're gonna play hard. We're gonna give our all. And um, we're going to um, definitely take take the pride in the logo that we wear on our helmet and the name we wear on the back of our jersey, and we're going to go out there and do what we got to do. It feels like maybe it was like 500 years ago, mm -hmm. but what happened the last time you guys played? Does that mm -hmm. make your mind at all, specifically you? <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it's definitely um, inevitable of that. It's, I mean, this is somebody been talking about it every week, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I can't control but what's in front of me, you know, the time that and then the opportunity that I got in front of me. and. Um, just keep keep going, keep working, and um, you know, and everything else take care of itself. How do you look at your season specifically? Um, you know, I always want to be able to um, be better. You know, and um, and you know, there's some plays where you want here, you want back, but at the same time, I'm, I'm proud of some of the growth that I've made in this defense. You know, growth that I feel like I made. You know, as a as a leader, just as a as a man, just just just. Trying to get better every year I play, you know, and um, and that's 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 I would just want to stay the course of that and just keep answering the call, you know what I'm saying, and be somebody that a team could depend on, and and I feel like I fit the bill, um, but at the same time, I believe you know it's, it's some it's some more um, improvement for me, you know, going forward, and I'm excited to you know push myself to that max, whatever that may be, you know, and um, while you're playing. You know, I'm the type of guy to believe that you never do reach that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You never want to find a day where you always be like, all right, I've figured it out. You know what I'm saying? Because you never figure it out. You're always learning and you're always trying to evolve, always trying to be a better player. But um, up to this point, you know, I've, you know, um, I can say with confidence that, you know, I'll give my, my best ever, you know, week in and week out. And, um, and, you know, that, you know, however that looked to, you know, Whoever, you know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, I know there's a lot of improvements, you know. So, um, so I'm, 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 I'm excited for, for to finish the season strong. That's really what my focus is on is just, and then when, I, when that, after the last game done, and turn around and assess. And, but at the end of the day, my job is to do the best I can do, you know. And um, the best I could do, you know, is being one of the top players in my position in the league and um, consistently on, on a weekly basis, somebody that I always got to be accounted for, make an impact. And um, whichever way that may be, there may be a big statistical game or it might not be. It might not be a big statistical game, but I had impact across the game. You know, however it looked that week, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure that my number is being accounted for and, and, um, and respected. And I think at the end of the day, if I'm the best me, I could make the people around me better. So, um, so I feel like the best football is definitely still out there for me. And um, but my most focus right now is just finishing strong with a with a game left. And uh, any thoughts on the White Freeney being named one of the Hall of Fame finalists? He's yeah. looking for you. Yeah, without a doubt, man. You know, definitely should be a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely fortunate to be able to spend time with him, and then um, play 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 on that um, team we went to the Super Bowl with with him, and um, got have have some memories and just be able to be in his presence because. Growing up, he was somebody that I was, you know, watched and stuff like that. So it, when it, when we, we did become teammates, it was surreal a little bit. I can remember remember back, but um, I mean, you know, don't wish nothing but a uh, good good congrats to him, and um, he should be locked in there. You know what I'm saying? So special guy, heck of a competitor, and um, he made a way for us um, shorter de defensive lineman to go out there and just have success, even though he wasn't in and a different style type player, but you know, he, he represented it for, you know what I'm saying? So he represented early for us and went out, had a great career, hall of fame career. And uh, I'm fortunate to, uh, was be able to be his teammate.